So Rooster Teeth continues to dig their own graves due to their own incompetence and stupidity. And, as we've seen earlier in the week, what they did was they sabotaged their own grim art contest. Then they went and abused fair use, attacking a MMD YouTuber for making fan videos. And now they're abusing fair use yet again, going after Patreon accounts and any form of fan art with Ruby characters. This is absolutely ridiculous, and Rooster Teeth, at this point, you're just trying to ruin any goodwill, if there's even any left, between you and your fans. You're just trying to destroy all of it. I mean, seriously, talk about ruining all the fun. God, I'm tired of this company. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So Rooster Teeth, yet again, screwing up. Nobody's surprised at all by this, because that's all they know how to do, is continue to fall over themselves and their own idiocy. Well, now, if you thought it was bad enough that they were already trying to dictate how artists do things, now they're after all fan art. So, this post here from Free Skulls 98 stated this, In case you were unaware of what's going on, Rooster Teeth is demanding that every fan art, fan animation, and fan fictions to be taken down. What does this mean? Simple. If Rooster Teeth does get this idea through, I have no choice but to remove all Ruby content that I have, even though I don't give a flying damn about them anymore. So, if in the future all Ruby books are removed, then you should know why. So, this means that they're going to be going after everything, which they're abusing fair use because they can't do that. Rooster Teeth, you're so stupid because you're violating fair use. You are going against fair use. I mean, seriously, how dumb can you be? So people were responding to this, and this is what they stated. Is this official? Another person stated, they also want the Patreon videos taken down. I only see many questions if it will actually extend to fan art and fan fiction. Just wanted to clarify. Another person stated, well, let's hope that it never comes to fruition. And with Rooster Teeth here, what they're doing is they are basically just abusing fair use. Because now they're going after any variation. Doesn't matter. They're going after any form of fan art. This is absolutely absurd. And Rooster Teeth, you know for a fact that you, what you are doing is absolutely wrong. You're so stupid that apparently you don't even realize that fan art is actually a good thing to help promote Ruby. But... They're so dumb, they want to just completely self-sabotage themselves. Goes to show how stupid Rooster Teeth really is. It's like they just want to destroy themselves at this point. So, Joseph the Hermit, shout out to him, stated, Okay, so the company behind Ruby is demanding that every fan art, fan animation, and fanfic of Ruby to be taken down. This means that the fans that got their Tims from making Ruby fan stuff will be in danger. This is crazy. Have you guys ever seen this kind of idea? People were saying, I could take those people by the balls. Imagine for a second. And so, of course, this person responds with being, you know, upset with the angry buddy, really proving how upset they are. And Joseph responds with that Hypergrip or a Yostar requested that every fan made Arknife stuff to be taken down. How would you guys feel? Upset and angry, right? And I think that anybody. As a fan of fan art, you know, looking up people's art, their creative expressions, you know, freedom of expression, mind you, to be taken down. Rooster Teeth, you know you can't do that. You know that you're abusing fair use with this. You know that what you're trying to do is silencing people's freedom of expression, and you know that's not legal. That's not right what you're doing. I mean, seriously, Rooster Teeth at this point is just basically... You know, coming in there, having that mad golf swing, and they're wanting to just take down anybody they can. I mean, this company is so stupid, they clearly don't understand fair use at all. Otherwise, they would know that fan art is completely legal. It is completely legal. There is nothing wrong with fan art. But Rooster Teeth, being the idiots that they are, want to come in there like Abby, have that mad golf swing, and smack any fan art. They don't understand how fair use works because fair use is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyrighted protected works in certain circumstances. Section 107 of the Copyright Act provides the statutory 
framework of determining whether something is a fair use and identify certain types of uses such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research as examples of activities that may qualify as fair use. Section 107 calls for consideration of the following four factors in evaluating a question of fair use. Here's the thing. What people are doing with fan art, it falls under fair use. So what Rooster Teeth is doing is they're basically just trying to say that they don't want any fan art because they themselves, as a company, are falling apart. They are crumbling, and so they think the best way to make things better is to take away people's freedom of expression with their characters. You couldn't be more idiotic, could you, Rooster Teeth? And if we're to go into more extensive terms of what it means for fair use, it also means that examples of fair use in the United States copyright law include commentary, search engines, criticism, parody, news reporting, research, and scholarship. Fair use provides for legal unlicensed citation or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work under a four-factor test, in which these tests, they all include the purpose and character of the use, including whether such use is of a commercial nature or is for nonprofit educational purposes. Two, the nature of the copyright work. Three, the amount of sustainability of the portion used in relation to the copyright work as a whole. And four, the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of copyright work. See, so here's the thing. This all falls under fair use, what people are doing here. Freedom of expression is something that people can do with art. You can draw whatever you wanted with these characters. Rooster Teeth is just trying to dictate how artists even do their art. And at this point, they're even trying to take away any freedoms they have of any form of fan art. So in other words, Rooster Teeth is just basically trying to say, Hey, you can't do fan art because we don't want you to do fan art. In other words, they're being stupid trying to ruin their own series. Some people even get into a franchise because of the fan art they see of a character. But apparently, they don't think about that. And Rooster Teeth is that dumb to literally sit there and think that fan art is going to hurt their series when, if anything's hurting their series, it's just them themselves. I mean, seriously, you couldn't be any dumber. You were just hurting yourselves. And we can't forget, with the document that they sent to the MMD artist that they were going after. Taking a look at one big thing that they stated within this was this. And state that those terms equally apply to how rich teeth intellectual property can be used. Per the rich teeth terms, you may not post or distribute content that contains nudity, uh, certain acts, or explicit materials. Clearly, your use of rich teeth characters falls into this category and as such is wrongful use that would not be permissible under the content usage guidelines. You know, it's funny that you say that, Rich Teeth, but that's fair use, by the way. So, in other words, you're trying to state already that people couldn't freely express the characters. And now, with your latest statement of going after all, all fan art, now you're basically stating nobody can do anything. Nobody can do any form of art with your characters. Which is absurd. You can't do that. You are breaking the law. You are abusing fair use. And they're trying to use part four of the Fair Use Act for their argument. So this is what it states. Effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. Here, courts review whether and to what extent the unlicensed use harms the existing or future market for the copyright owner's original work. In assessing this factor... Courts consider whether the use is hurting the current market for the original work, for example, by displacing sales of the original, and or whether the use could cause substantial harm if it were to become widespread. Here's the thing, Rooster Teeth. None of this is harming anything. You are harming yourselves by trying to, one, already go against the law and try to abuse fair use to your own will so that you can just remove fan art because you don't like it and that's already wrong enough in itself you are abusing fair use you are breaking the law because none of this is harming it in fact fan art helps a lot of series 
I mean, it helps get people into it, and same can be said for that. At this point, the only thing that's really keeping this franchise alive is actually your fan art. You know, had you not had fan art, Rooster Teeth, had you not had fans that actually cared, because I can tell you right now for damn sure, what's not keeping your series alive is your storytelling and your characters with their personalities now, because they're shit, <laughs> and nobody can argue that. So, there's no way, there is no way that your series by itself is helping you keep it afloat. It's all the fan art that people have done. And now that you're saying that, oh, well, we're going to just make sure that nobody has fan art. No, for one, you're breaking the law. You're abusing fair use. And two, you can't do that. This is disgusting behavior. And, you know, you continue to prove how stupid you are as a company, how incompetent you are. I mean, I've never seen a company this stupid. And I mean, when I look at it, I mean, did you hire Neil Cuckman? Are you working with Naughty Dog secretly? Because at this point, it seems like it. But then again, you don't have the money to be able to do that. You know, because at this point, you're just close to filing bankruptcy because that's what's going to happen at this point. You know, congratulations, Rooster Teeth. You continue to just show how horrible of a company you are, how you don't even understand how fair use even works, and how stupid you really are. Rooster Teeth, get woke, go broke. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the news videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.